With an average salary of 21 lakhs per annum, AI developer is one of the hottest jobs out there. If you want to take advantage of this craze and become an AI developer, these are the seven best free courses that you can do online and become an AI developer. From the basics to the advanced. If that sounds interesting, hit the like button and let's get started with this video, starting with the first one and that is about maths. See, before we talk about AI, machine learning, data science, you need to understand the underlying mathematics. Now, don't worry, you don't need to solve all the questions, right? That can be handled by the computer. You need to focus on understanding the concepts of linear algebra understanding about matrices and determinants, learn about matrix multiplication, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, learning about different types of probabilities, learning about how to showcase data with the help of statistics. All of this is very important before we jump into the world of machine learning and artificial intelligence. So you can get to learn everything that you need for machine learning with the help of this amazing YouTube playlist by John where he will explain you everything about linear algebra and probs and statistics. So learn about all of this. And now, once you are done with all of this, let's move on to the second stage. And this one is to learn about a language. Now, for any machine learning model or AI model that you will create, you need to communicate with the computer with the help of a programming language. Now, in most cases out there, you will have to use Python. It is the most widely used language to create ML models, right? Now, Python is a great user-friendly language that you can start using as a complete beginner and you will be able to understand exactly what is happening in this code. To learn about Python, you need to check out this amazing four hour long video on the Free Code Camp YouTube channel through which you'll get to learn everything from the basic data types, learn about conditionals, loops, functions, and also learn about objects and classes. And once you have a basic understanding, they will also help you solve a ton of different problems. And that is where you will be able to apply all your learnings by solving real world problems with the help of Python. So once you have a basic idea of how do arrays work, of how do Python lists operate. Then we move on to the next segment. And this one guys is about learning the different libraries of Python. Most importantly, NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. See, all of these three will help you with data science. With the help of NumPy, you can take different random unorganized data and organize it in the form of an array, multi-dimensional array, which will become a matrix. Once that is done, the next step is using pandas to query data from your database. Now, once you are done with that, the next step is to visualize data with the help of matplotlib. So these are the three very important libraries that you need to learn about how do you use data? How do you communicate with data? To learn about all three, there is a great video by Akash on Free Code Camp where you can learn about all of this from the very basics. So. Take a look at that. They have a ton of different questions that they are solving by applying all of the lessons that they're teaching you. So it can be a great session of understanding the basics and then applying it on the problems. So go through that and you'll be able to master Python, the maths required, as well as the various libraries for data science. Now with so much competition around, how do you think you'll get the top 1% jobs in tech? Well, Newton School of Technology is offering a futuristic curriculum and a bachelor's degree in computer science and AI. You get top faculties from MIT, Duke and IITs and personal mentoring from CEOs and CXOs of 500 plus top companies like Google, Amazon and more. A six month long paid internship experience along with study trips and tech conferences in global tech hubs like Silicon Valley, Singapore, Israel and many more. Placements look great with the average package being 12 lakh per annum. All students get a MacBook with M2 chip and they can also get scholarships up to 100% through NSAT. I mean the deal just keeps getting better. 
talking about NSAT, Newton's scholastic and aptitude test, you need to be a 12th pass out from 2021 to 23. The date of exam is 28 June and 10th July and the registration closes soon. Register for NSAT with the link in the description ASAP and give the exam on the 28th of June as the scholarship seats are limited so don't miss out on this. And now let's get back to the video. Alright, now let's talk about the third thing and that is to get into the world of machine learning. Now this is a very exciting field that you will start learning about. You can take a help of this amazing video on Tech with Tim's YouTube channel that you can see on the screen. With the help of it, you can learn everything from supervised learning, unsupervised learning to reinforcement learning as well. You will be building a ton of different projects, right? You'll get to learn about linear regression, about classification. You learn about K nearest neighbors. You learn about support vector machines. You will learn about different unsupervised learning methods as well. And as you do that, right, for example, clustering, how does clustering work? You will have a basic idea of how can we approach a machine learning problem. And once you are done with that, the next step is learning about reinforcement learning. How do you create an agent in an environment? How do you incentivize that agent so that it will maximize for a particular parameter and hence learn about how to work in the environment, right? They do it by teaching you how to build a simple flappy bird game. I built it as well and I was able to learn a lot because of this one complete video on Tech with Tim's YouTube channel. So that is all that you need to know about the basics of machine learning. The next step, which is I think the fourth resource, this is going to be a course from Google, which will teach you the basics of the TensorFlow framework. Now, what is TensorFlow? It is a framework that will help you to create amazing machine learning and AI models. You can pick any other framework as well. Like for example, there is PyTorch and many others as well. But with the help of TensorFlow, you can build amazing deep neural networks just with a few lines of code. Like you will not believe the level of complexity you can get with just a couple of lines of code, right? So you will learn about Keras and you will learn to build deep neural networks inside of this short course on the TensorFlow website itself. And because it is taught by the most experienced instructors and people working at Google, you will get to learn a lot in this process. You will learn about different validating set, about training set, about test set. You will also learn about how to optimize weights and biases in any equation for the model that you're creating. You will also learn about regression and classification and you will actually end up building different models with the help of TensorFlow. And that is going to be huge for you. But so far, you've learned about TensorFlow as a framework. The next step is going to be to get into the realm of natural language processing. And you can do that with the help of the fifth resource, which is Stanford CS224N YouTube playlist. It's a course offered by Stanford, but they are also giving it away for free on YouTube. And with the help of it, you can learn about how can a machine learning model parse text and understand it and create the next prediction for what the next text would be. You learn what is a transformer. You will also learn about BERT and large language models, right? And you will have a deeper understanding of how does chat GPT work, of how do, you know, other programs like BARD operate. And once you go through each of these lectures, you'll have a very deep understanding. And because it is taught by a very experienced professor from Stanford, you can expect the best quality out there. So now that you know about NLP and you've built some problems, some solutions to problems, the next step is going to be to learn about chat GPT. Yes, that time is finally here. There is an amazing course by deeplearning.ai offered by Andrew NG, which is called Chat GPT Prompt Engineering for Developers. Now, they also have three more courses. These are very short one hour long courses, but you will have a very basic idea of how can you use Chat GPT, both for prompt engineering as well as for their API, the Chat GPT API, you learn to use that. You will also learn to use Langchain 
and you learn how can you create applications based on generative AI. So this is going to be a great experience for you. Very quick courses which will teach you everything in the basics of chat GPT. All right, now let's move on to the last course that I have to share with you. And this one is from Google themselves. It is a massive learning path. They have 10 different courses in it through which you can learn everything about generative AI. Now, in this course, it starts off with the very basics of what is generative AI. You learn about large language models, you learn about BERT and transformers, and you will also learn about how does image generation happen in generative AI, right? What is the diffusion model and how does it really work? You will also learn about how to make a very simple image captioning model. Basically, you feed an image and it will caption it. It will describe what is there in the image. You will also learn to interact with the generative AI studio from Google. So you learn a lot in this 10 course learning path. And at the end, you will be a job ready programmer in the AI field. You will be an AI developer. Now, of course, you need to solve a ton of more problems. Check out Kaggle and start solving some problems over there. You can also start learning about AutoGPT and other tools which are there in generative AI space and get ready for this space. I hope this video helps. Make sure that you hit the like button. Check out the link in the description for all of these courses that I've mentioned in this video. These are some of the best courses that I personally have taken and hence I'm sharing it with you. You can tag me on social at Ishan Sharma 790. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you are still watching right in the comment section, I watch till the very end. Check out the NSAT scholarship and sign up for it as soon as you can. The exam is on 28th of June. Thanks all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.